What's going on everybody? It's me JP and you're watching JP TV. Alright, so for today's video, it's gonna be about insects. Specifically, it's about L1 mantids and how to feed them an easier way. When you don't have um, flightless fruit flies available in your place. So here in the Philippines, um, flightless fruit flies is not available. So we are just using different types of um, feeders for our L1 mantids or nymphs. Alright, so in this video, I'm gonna use my L1 Hyradula species to show you the easier way on how to feed your L1 mantid. So basically, this is the steps that I do for my L1 Hyradula species. And also, I've done this to my Statilia species before and it was effective. And again, disclaimer, this will vary from keeper to keeper and also it varies to different species because some of some species don't really walk around to find food and some species are very aggressive so it really depends on what species you have and the level of your experience in mantis keeping since l1 mantids generally are not that aggressive towards their siblings especially after they hatch like a day or two days after they hatch so it's okay to keep them in a communal setup within one to two days or at least five days all right so after hatching those l1 mantids will start to look for food and water after six to twelve hours so make sure that you are ready you have your spray bottle and also your food for food i used these blata lateralis nymphs so they are just um like a day old or it some of them are really white or some of them are really small right now so they are perfect for our l1 mantid so what i do is i pre-crush these nymphs i crush them on the head so that the feet will still move so it will get the attention of the mantids so basically when you crush the head of the or the roach nymph it will not injure your mantids so just moving around and again it will attract the attention of your mantids so when doing this trick or this tip make sure that again you crush the head of the roach so that it wouldn't injure your l1 mantid so since they are too small they can be easily injured and another tip is make sure that your enclosure is not that big because if your enclosure is too wide or it has too much space your nymph or your feeder it wouldn't get the attention of the mantid so it wouldn't be eaten and it would attract ants if it wasn't cleaned up Alright, so I hope you learned something today. The tip that I shared with you is something that I do with my L1 mantids if I got the chance to have them or if I hatch an oot, that's the thing that I do with them. But it's just a simple trick that you can do if you don't have fruit flies or any other feeders besides roaches. So if you learned something today, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up. And see you on the next one. Bye-bye.